Hi, my name is Tamara and you are watching Things Even a Monkey Should Know. Thanks so much for watching again today. As you know, if you've watched some of my other videos, I'm not a professional. This is do-it-yourself stuff. I'm just a girl who's figured out that there are a whole lot of things around the house and out in the yard and on my cars that I can do myself and save myself often both time and money. So hopefully you've saved those things now too. So today I am going to be replacing a keyed door le lever, which is a fancy way of saying that um, my locking door handle on my front door is broken and I'm going to replace it. So let's get started. Seeing how today is yet again an excruciatingly cold and windy day, I'm going to be keeping as much of this video inside as possible. So I guess this is a half and half sort of deal today. Um, but so, as always, we're going to go over the things that we're going to need first. And um, of course, the first thing you're going to need is going to be your no new door lever or door handle, whatever design you decide to go with. The beautiful thing is that you can pick out a whole brand new design if you want to. So the new one that I got is similar to the old one, but it's a little sleeker looking, I think. So these come in a kit and uh, they come with all of the fun hardware and stuff that you're going to need to install them. And since we are simply changing out today, we're not going to be having to do any major uh, drilling or hole uh, making in the doors today. Um, so we have that. Um, you may, you will probably actually need to have a, um, a measuring tape. Apparently I'm losing my ability for speech today, so I apologize. Um, you'll want to have a drill driver or uh, impact driver, I mean, um, or Depending on, I mean, the screws aren't hugely long in this. I always like to have a power driver available. I also have just a variety of little screwdrivers available because I may need to do some prying or some, you know, there may be something that I don't want to screw in with the power driver. And um, I think that's pretty much it. Depending on the style of your doorknob, you may need to have a, um, a real flat implement available if it does not have an obvious screw on it, as we'll see online in just a minute. So obviously before we can start putting on the new handle, we have to get the old one off. And the new one has these delightful little holes where the screws go, so it's very easy to see how to get it on and off, whereas this one appears to have nothing. So if you have one that has nothing, it's probably going to have a plate of some sort. And this one, as you can see, I cheated and I actually cut it. It was stuck to the pane in the door and uh, I went ahead and I cut that apart with a razor blade and um, they're gonna have some kind of little plate that you can take off and uh, it should well this is why I have my screwdrivers isn't it it's uh, should be somewhat easy to take off and it's not a big deal if I damage the plate getting it off it is kind of a big deal if I damage the door though, because if I could avoid having to uh, repaint very much on it, that would be pretty fantastic. But as you can see, this is starting to come off. It really should not be this hard, but this door handle is 20 some odd years old. So I guess it's determined that it's not going to be nice. There we go. So now we've revealed the screws, which is kind of a big deal because otherwise, how in the heck are you supposed to take this old one off? So we have screws, um, top and bottom. I hope you can see that. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and unscrew those now. There's one. Oh, the bottom one might be stripped. Oh, that was delightful. So whoever installed this, looks like they stripped out the head of the screw on the bottom, so we may be resorting to something a little more creative to get this one off. Let's try just a regular screwdriver. Okay, hallelujah, both the screws are out. So that's a good reason to have some variously sized screwdrivers around in case you do have a case of a strip screw head. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to take this side off and now I need to remove 
uh, <coughs> excuse me, the strike plate in the door. So just in case you've never seen what the inside of half of a doorknob looks like, uh, this is the outer mechanism still holding things in along with the actual locking piece here. So the next thing that I need to do, because we can't, oh yes we can, never mind. I just pulled the outer mechanism out, which is the actual locking piece out. And now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna remove that strike plate that has the lock, um, the actual thing that locks on it. And apparently, as we have found out before, I cannot speak and work at the same time. You guys will have to forgive me. So we got that. I'm gonna go ahead and just pull this little thing out. And now look at that. We are, we have a, an empty door with, that is all ready for our new lever. So, so far so good, right? So we're now ready to go ahead and install our latch. This was the word that I could not come up with a moment ago for the piece that I took out. And I'm just gonna go ahead and stick it into the hole here. And they're very kind and sent just exactly the right size screws. And uh, it just basically fits back into the hole that I just took it out of. Oh, you know what? The strike plate had a piece of plastic covering it too. So, let's get that off. Hopefully I didn't get too far in the way there, you guys. Um, okay, now I think we're about to do what is probably the hardest thing of the day. We're going to install the outside part of the latch. And to do that, we stick this uh, stem through this hole in the latch and just stick the handle on. And don't worry, it's gonna stay. We're not done. That was probably the hardest thing. Are oh, y'all getting the sarcasm there? Okay, I hope that y'all can see this well enough. Um, I'm having a real problem trying to balance the lighting on the camera or make it balance itself with the outside light and the inside light. Um, but anyway, what we're gonna do now is we're going to replace the uh, strike plate. Whoops. And, um, I actually like the one that's on here, but for the sake of showing you, I'm going to do it anyway. So I'm just going to go ahead and unscrew these screws. It comes off. You can see it's got little spacers in there to help us know where to install it. So I'm just going to go ahead and put the new one on. And those nifty little spacers can move around. I hope you can see this. They're two, just two little plastic holes. And this plate, again, they very nicely covered everything with plastic, which I had about forgotten to take off. And I'm just gonna go ahead and screw this plate in since it does match my set. And since we're outside and just did the outside lever handle anyway. crooked. That's why they made it adjustable. Okay, and that's done. So depending on the kind of door you have, uh, it may have those little plastic things. It may be a wood, a wood frame. Um, it just really depends. You never know. Okay, so now we're ready to put the inside part of the handle on and you just wanna make sure that you have the holes lined up correctly 
which the uh, for the screws I mean so the screw holes are at the top, top and bottom on the outside piece and so we just want to make sure that we do that on this piece too and basically we're gonna wiggle it around a bit uh, and if you have if you're having a hard time getting it on there you can go ahead and just stick the key in the outside one and it'll help should help to uh, woggle these things on there okay so we have it on the door now I'm gonna go ahead and hold these together and I'm gonna just make sure uh, that the key does in fact work so I have that turned to locked and it can unlock too so good we know that it works so now all that I have left to do if I can reach them because I think I put my screws out of my reach which was not oh, was not overly bright in fact I dropped them out here uh, so I'm gonna go ahead now and I'm going to just screw these two pieces together and I'm not going to strip this the heads uh, as happened before I didn't install that one though Okay guys, I do understand why they stripped out the bottom one before. Um, it's because for some reason the bottom one is a lot harder to screw in than the top, even though it appears that everything is in the same place. So, I've got my secret weapon, a long driver bit, and uh, that should get me out past that handle, which is what's giving me trouble. There we go. So now I was able to get it tight. So now our door is done it's our lock works uh and that took well it took me longer to film it than it took for you to do it i promise okay so i really love those whenever i get to say did you see how easy that was that was so easy and it was something that can greatly affect your ability to get it into or out of your home it can affect your the security of your home can just affect all kinds of things and it takes all of about five minutes to replace if you're just taking one out and putting a different one in so it doesn't take long at all and these things range I mean if you're at the store you can look at them and you can get a really plain and simple uh, doorknob or door lock you know from around five or so dollars all the way up to ridiculous amounts of dollars mine was kind of in the mid-range but I wanted one that had real sleek clean lines on it so that it kind of matches the rest of my house so anyway it's just really exciting whenever something is so easy to do and you might have kind of put it off for a while and dreaded it and there was really nothing to dread and I think you know sometimes you spend more time doing that than actually doing the project so um, I hope that that helped you and you saw how easy it is to change out one of those today. If you're doing a an interior door that doesn't have a locking mechanism, so much the better for you. It's even easier, although you can't get much easier than that. You're still going to have both sides that are going to put on. You're going to have to put on. Um, and again, anytime that you have like the old style, like I had, that has the plate on it where you can't see any screws, or rather, where you have one where you can't see any screws, there is always going to be some kind of a plate that you have to pry off. It's just a matter of getting it off. And this one actually had a little lip around it so that it wasn't real easy to get off. And again, too, it had been painted onto the door. So there was all of that, but thankfully the new one covered the marks. So I actually don't even have a repaint job to do, which is awesome. So I hope you enjoyed today's show. I hope it helped you. Thank you very much for watching. Thanks very much to everybody who's already subscribed. If you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and do that, finding the subscribe button on that side of the screen and if you like the show please go ahead and share it with your friends because your shares and your support helps me out and I greatly appreciate it so until next time have a great week and I'll see you again soon